Hey out there, Stephen with KiwiBox.com, sitting with Peter Salette. How you doing today? Doing very well. How you doing? I'm doing okay. So your album, In the Ocean of the Stars, came out this past summer. It's your fifth album. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the reception so far of this one? Uh, well, it's been good. I've gotten some nice write-ups. Um, it's tough to really tell, kind of, uh, in terms of whether people are buying the CD or not. It's, it's, uh, it's such a changed world, kind of, from ten years ago when I put out my first CD. So. Um, but uh, there's been some really nice critical reception, which is great, and uh, and people seem to be enjoying it. So. So. Well, Between the Dark and the Light is one of my favorite songs I was listening to earlier. Um, who's the girl that you harmonize with on the record? That's Amy Miles. And do you collaborate with her often? Uh, she's sung with me a bunch. She sings with me live when we play. She's a great uh, performer and singer-songwriter in her own right. You also write for films, we were talking about that. How did this first start happening for you? And so what ended up happening in my early shows in New York is I would have a crowd of people that would come, they would be artists, so there would be tons of actors, directors, writers, painters, dancers. It was a really, really creative group of people that used to come see me play. And they got a lot of inspiration from me and vice versa. And I was just kind of like a part of the whole, the whole scene. As the people that used to come see me, as their careers have grown, my music has been a part of their lives. Most recently you worked on the film Forgetting Sarah Marshall, it was a big hit. What was that experience like for you? <laughs> it was really tough. I mean, I was in Hawaii <laughs> at a resort writing songs. Um, I didn't have, I did not have any Mai Tais, none. Um, you know, no, I mean, that's, that's kind of a dream job, really. So, what's next for you in the world of film scoring? Uh, well, I've just finished a documentary called 21 Below, which is a beautiful documentary, and um, they're just uh, kind of figuring out where it's going to go right now. Um, and um, uh, I just did a song score, <laughs> meaning I wrote a song for this movie that I have coming out called Role Models. Um, so, that was a great process. Um, where basically there was a, an empty space that they needed a song, and they were trying a bunch of, a bunch of songs, but um, it was a director that I'd worked with before, and he sent me the scene, and I wrote a song specifically for the scene, tailored to the movie, the words were, you know, like, it's always a challenge, because you don't want to say kind of like the exact script of the movie, it's, that's not what the song in the movie is there for, but on the other hand, you want to kind of slightly reference it, so that um, so that it can deepen the people's emotions about you know what they're seeing. Very cool. Now on the flip side, as a yeah. solo singer, I know the last album took a long time to get out there. Do you have any plans to record another one in the near future? Or are you just writing this one out? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I'd like to. Um, I mean, I have the songs now, finally, to, to start recording another record. So I, I will probably get started on that pretty soon. Um, it's, it's an interesting world now in terms of, you know, I love creating the, the album, that 45 minutes or whatever of music, but uh, in terms of the world we live in, it's, it's, it's just not, it's not clear to me that um, spending all of that time to create that 45 minute piece of art, as much as I love doing it, I, the satisfaction is great, so maybe I'll just continue to make these 45 minute pieces. Hey, this is Peter Sillette, and you're watching me on KiwiBox.com.